hey guys, we got a cold and rainy day out here in Los Angeles, but the Genesis Open is going on right now, and Tiger's playing pretty well, and uh, looks like uh, he's about five strokes back of the pack right now. So at any rate, I wanted to take a moment to take a look at Ricky Fowler's golf swing. Now, I, last year I started doing some reviews of the guys that would be the weekly winners, and I think that's a pretty fun thing to revisit because there's a lot of amazing golf swings on the PJ Tour, and Ricky's been one of my favorites ever since he joined the tour about 10 years ago because he swings kind of like Ben Hogan, very classic in that style, except he keeps that front foot planted. Uh, so at any rate, we're going to take a look at his golf swing, and if you like this content, please hit a subscribe, a like, or leave a comment about his golf swing, and we're going to get started. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll give some details about my upcoming clinic and golf tournament that I'm going to have in mid-March. Hit them long and hit them straight. Okay, let's check out Ricky Fowler's cool golf swing. Man, I remember seeing Ricky in... Uh, 2010, he was a big inspiration for my swing evolution because I just loved how he hit it. He swung like Hogan, and we can see here that he has uh, one of the more flat swings on tour, but you can see that his uh, shoulder plane is pretty flat. Here we see that massive transition move. Wow. Bent left arm at impact, that again is like Hogan, he had a little bend in that arm, just a little bit. Legs are very stiff through the hit, and he really stays down on the ball a long time. So the first uh, thing I'd like to take a look at is I like to take a look at a player's head. Because, you know, the shoulders, the arms, the club, they're rotating essentially around the base of the neck. And so it's very helpful if we take a look at the head on most golfers. So I put this red box right around the top and bottom and sides of Ricky's head. So let's watch this back swing. Now the first thing I want to point out about this back swing is we see this serious little forward press. And I mean, it's not too visible to the naked eye. And, and Mr. Hogan talked about his forward press and uh, it wasn't too visible, but they're certainly bracing for their golf swing. And we can see here Ricky is pressing into that lead side, pressing forward. He keeps the hands in relatively the same spot, but he's bracing that lower body for this hit. So there's all that before he takes the club back. And then now he's already moved his head back a couple of inches. Now he's going to move off of the ball. Now this is a, this is a Hogan trait. He's going to turn his left shoulder not under his chin but over his rear foot. That is a heck of a stretch. Uh, that's the beginnings of what I call the power stretch. And you can see it laterally going from his hands cupped wrists all the way to that lead hip and essentially right here he's reached the top of his backswing but look how far he's moved off from his original head position he's probably five inches off and he is really coiled up behind that ball now this is uh, where we see the X factor in his golf swing as that left hip starts to twist and move forward boy he is really loaded there And then we see this just gorgeous position. He has much more of the Sam Snead type of bowed legs uh, when he uses the ground for resistance. And this is what a lot of the modern players are doing, is they're separating their knees in a bow-legged style, whereas Mr. Hogan tended to get into that lead knee. And here we see Ricky's head has dropped quite significantly. So he's hit his wall, so to speak, He's still about three inches off from where he set up at the uh, start of his golf swing. And now he's moving down to go get the ball. So it uh, looks like about six inches of drop and about three inches left over of moving more behind the golf ball. But what we're going to see, if we notice uh, his club head, it's going to really ascend through the strike. 
So here it's pretty low, maybe an inch off the ground. He makes impact. And see how quickly that club head has moved up? Yeah, he's catching it on the ascent, which is excellent. Then we're going to see this turn. Now, a lot of the modern players, they're really turning into that lead heel. So we're going to see a little bonus turn out of his left foot here. See that? That's just going to help him to be able to rotate. That leg is totally stiff. And, you know, it's a little worrisome, you know, especially after what happened to Tiger's knee. He had three knee operations, you know. But uh, definitely these guys today are, are really snapping that left knee and it just helps him to get through the ball with more speed. Now, I'm going to take uh, one more look at this golf swing, and I'm going to put a line on his uh, golf ball to see where he is in relation to the ball. This is definitely one that's going to help us. Okay, so this is a pretty straight-on shot. Um, it looks like he plays the ball kind of inside. This, this shot may not be perfect. I'd say he's probably lining it up off his left heel, um, but still, you know, that's, that's pretty deep, it looks like, from this angle. And we're going to see him press and, and get into his backswing. And he's going to be creating space. His shoulders are well behind the line of that golf ball. He is so far behind it here. That's, look at the amount of spine tilt he has away from the ball here. That is massive. I say all the time, especially with a driver, you have to keep your head behind the ball. Look, he's about eight inches behind the ball with his head. Now his center of gravity is moved off the ball, you know, just a little bit, maybe a couple inches, you know, inside that line, maybe three inches or so. But we're going to watch his center of gravity as he moves and hits his wall before that left leg starts to really straighten. So right here, he's pretty much right on top of the ball with his center of gravity, C-O-G, his cog. And then we're going to see that lead leg straighten. And that's going to help him with that ascending blow with his center of gravity in front of the golf ball so he can still get tons of compression on it. Beautiful golf swing. You know, he's been working with Butch Harmon. You know, one of the things that I wish I could see him do right here at the top is just give himself a little bit of relief on his back and just maybe just roll that lead foot to the inside a little bit. His knee is still in front of that golf ball. And, uh, you know, about 10 years in, you know, Ricky's still a pretty young man in my opinion. But I wonder what's going to happen with him as he continues to swing this way. I certainly wish that he'll be very healthy for many years to come. I'm a huge fan. I'd love to see him win a lot more and take home a major soon. He's got the game. So, Ricky, best of luck to you. I've really enjoyed watching you play through the years, and you were a massive inspiration for me to start my swing evolution when I first saw you play at Torrey Pines in 2010. So I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. And, guys, don't forget, I am having an MSC intensive on March 16th, followed by a little mini tournament, a little scramble tournament on the 17th. So feel free to hit me up, Christo Garcia, at my swing Evolution. Dot com, uh, and I can get you all the details if you'd like to come play in my tournament and especially attend my, uh, my intensive on Saturday. It's eight hours of golf all day. It's awesome. And I go through my entire system and people really love it. Lots of repeat customers. So I will talk to you later. Hit them long and hit them straight. So let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I used to become the golfer I always wanted to be.